you've forgotten about me. Never. No, I was just catching up with old chums. Isn't it fantastic to see Robert in such good form? We were just discussing it. <laughs> mm. What gentleman? English gentleman. <laughs> Miss Riding, I have a word in private. Be careful, Elliot. I understand you are looking to get your book published. Yes. Yes, I'm looking forward to finding somebody who understands and champions it for everything that it is. If you furnish me with more details, perhaps I can help. Perhaps we could meet later on. You could read me a chapter. I'm not staying too far from here. Well, what about it? Is that oh, excuse me. She must be spectacular. I mean, it's not her right. I'm already mad enough by extending an invitation to a woman who's never met before. <laughs> not a patch on Nancy. <laughs> Your friends don't respect me. Especially T.S. Eliot. He's made it quite clear that he only wants to help me if I fuck him. Men can be quite disappointing. Although, perhaps none more so than Lewis. Who's Lewis? My husband. He was a professor at Cornell when I was there. Tried to mold me into a proper faculty wife. <laughs> I make my own image. Nobody molds me. I think you are extraordinary. You do. <laughs> Storms always frighten me. singled out by some supernatural powers. Don't you think?
Good morning. Morning. <laughs> What's the matter? T.E. Lawrence and 300 pounds. Mm. <laughs> Can't wait to move to London. Think about all the possibilities. Well, uh, I think Catherine would hate it. And I'm, I'm not sure Nancy would take well to the bad land of air. Nancy is a marvelous woman. I mm. feel very close to her. She's very fond of you. If she knew. She must never know. Of course. No, no, no. I mean, I mean it. Of course. Daddy! It's been so long I miss Hello. you. Hello. Welcome home. Oh. <laughs> Welcome home. I trust the launch party was a success. Uh, yes, the early reviews are very favorable. Um, uh, and I, I was offered the job of writing T. Lawrence's biography. No, oh, that's wonderful news. Thank you. <laughs> and I, uh, I trust everything else was a success. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, oh, good Lord. Bloody hell. This meeting of minds and bodies proved possible for three people to sustain a modern relationship without any regards to the formal conventions of society. And I can't... No, no, no. Catherine will uh, stay here with Nancy. <laughs> Loving in part, I did not see you home. Words I chose for your voice to speak echo. Now that I love you as not before. Laura is a. I'm going to ask you the very same question. We're going to control our work, publish those who we deem important. If you're not going to live with passion and creative instinct, then you don't belong in this new world. Would you publish me? Hmm? Totally unworthy of our attention. Robert! Robert, your master's calling. Yes? This is, um, how was it you say your name? Elfriede. Hmm. I thought she'd be an excellent secretary. Ah. Well, well do you have any experience? A, a little, yeah. Can you type? What's type? Let's see a tip on stenography. 
Ah, Zeppelmann Kaffee, also mit der Schreibmaschine einfach was aufschreiben. Also ja, ich habe zwei Jahre als Sekretärin gearbeitet. Also ich kenne mich aus mit informeller Korrespondenz und mit Fantastic! You're hired! See, I can make everyone happy! Oh, oh fuck, I'm so sorry, Madam. Uh, here, let me... It's fine. Oh. Are you the devil? I'm sorry? What's your name? Ah, uh, Jeffrey. Jeffrey Fitz. And who invited you? Um, uh, um... Big Crasher! Please, please forgive me for arriving uninvited. I actually just came to see Laura riding. Do you have any idea where I may find her? Laura riding? Mm -hmm. Give me a poem. You're not English. Scottish. Irish. Mm -hmm. Look at these lines. <laughs> And what is it you do? Uh, a poet. Or trying to be, anyway. And what is it you want with Laura riding? Well, I read her latest essay in the Duff Mirror magazine, and it's changed my life. Maybe you can introduce me. Listen up, everybody. This is Jeffrey Phibbs. He wants to meet Laura Riley. Should I introduce them? Fight. Elliot's review of my essay. No. He calls my arguments derivative. What? How dare he? And yet I'm not surprised. Oh, I had a feeling he would do something like this. Well, don't make a meal of it. I just can't believe that he, he'd compromise our friendship by writing such nonsense. Ah. Don't let it bother you. We have so much planned. It doesn't matter what they say. One jot. Where are you off to? Oh, uh, Cape has been uh, screaming at me to finish that short story, so I, I better get to it. Well, I'll read it once you're done. Oh, no, there's no need, no. Alfred has been typing it up and running it over as we go along, so I'm, <laughs> I'm sure it will be up to our joint standards. <laughs> She has a nice body. She's attracted to you. Well, I don't see anyone but you. <laughs> oh, look, he's here. Can you answer the door while you're dressed? Who's here? Jeffrey. You know, from the party. The young poet, oh, Irishman. Yes. He's coming to stay with us. Yeah. Uh -huh. Right. Next. It's Robert. Pity is such a nice man. Give it to me. Jeffrey, these books that have passed muster. And now that we've dealt with your books, we should address your clothing. What about my clothing? Well, they must be burned with the rest of these. Let's start with your shirt. <laughs> you know, Jeffrey, I think our first assignment should be a dictionary of exact meanings. Exact meanings? Yes. One word, one definition. That was meant to be our next project. So one definition for every word. Um, that doesn't make any sense. Well, consider the word woman, which is derived from wife man, a non-male, a, a female man, as it were, an arbitrary term without defining, a thing perceived amongst other things, such as a horse, a cat, a dog. Should we have a toast? I'll explain more in the morning. To the Holy Circle. A new literary group. <laughs> Beware, madam. <laughs> 